Okay, nice. <clears throat> Today we're going to uh, uh, do the lotus flower and uh, with something we, we may add later with, with the water birds. Um, so let me do the lotus. This is the cheese. So the pinky. Okay, let me do a small demo first. The idea of lotus is uh, uh, you know the symbolism is that the lotus grow from the mud, so you uh, kind of maintain purity from the uh, the, the muddy sort of environment. <coughs> it's a Zen or a Buddhist idea, I think. So the you, usually the the leaf comes first, but you can also do the stem first. Um, The leaf is like a um, like an oval shape, but in, in you know in in, um, <coughs> in Chinese we have a style called the landscape painting. We have the vein, lotus vein. Mm -hmm. it, it, yeah, it, it, it's like like this. You know, it divides like that. So this is water. I can I'm just using this as like a like a uh, water practice paper. So you can use some water always to start with the paint to, to just get an idea. Um, you can you can you know, just put some water. And <laughs> this is just pure water. And it actually becomes like a dew when you when you paint it. Um, you can just pour a little bit into some yeah just you don't really pour, you just use a big brush to apply the ink. And you see that the part you know with water will will be lighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a one way to do it. But you don't want to um, make everything wet. The dry base is very important for pouring ink. Um, sometimes, especially on mulberry paper, I'll, I'll do the veins first with the dry brush, you know, mm -hmm. and then uh, with the water to break it. So this is very important. The bone comes first. The under under painting structure comes comes first, right? But you have to do it fast before this gets dry. You can you can use the uh, water uh, or light ink. And you can just use thin brush. Just add water to the to the dry brush to break it. You know, just like that. Stiff brush, or this is a basic stiff brush for the vein. I mean, for the stem. You can you can make a, a bend stroke like we learned in the first class. Um, you don't have to really make all the stems you know clear, but. Uh, Good to have a matching number, this something like that. Okay. The the flower and grass. You can also have flower first if it's uh, important in, in composition. But normally it comes after the leaves. You can save some leaves if the flower petal in front of the leaf. So I use softer brush, the basic softer brush to outline, and the pet petal goes like that. You can uh, add to there. You don't have to do the statement, but if you 
it's, you see the little part here you can do that. <coughs> Speaking of how you can add uh, part, dry part or little young part uh, if there's a room. You know, but on this paper you don't have this. So basically just uh, leaves and the flower. You can make this part a little larger. Yeah, when you add such things, you use different tones, darker or lighter, to break. This is a little, as you can see, the, the white space is, a, uh, is disappearing. So I try to bring it back with clean water. Mm -hmm. <coughs> at, at the right moment, sometimes you can do that, just draw the veins again with clean water. Uh, we need blot it first. So you <laughs> make sure there's a room for water. <laughs> and you can draw just with water. You draw a few lines later. So some some water management like that. Um, this is going to be uh, just a demo, so I, I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit to balance the size. Let's see how it works. <coughs> um, if it's more paper, paper, I just put it in the sink and then wash it. <laughs> to make it lighter. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's just try. Just put some drop. See if it, I can put some white dots there. Let's see. And you can just wait a few minutes. It should take. Uh, it should happen. Um, so the more you know, right, paper. Just like watercolor, people say you cannot change it. Yes, you can. <laughs> there are many ways to mod to remedy re remedies to to, to to do it. Just you know, so something like this, um, people normally don't write in the books. That's why I don't write the book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> so um, next year, my wife uh, Victoria, she's going to do a complete painting. Um, with uh, with the uh, rice paper, with the shirin paper, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, okay, that's good. Let's see how how collaborative we are. <laughs> so we're going to do this. Uh, so this is your turn. Uh, we have the large brush ready for you. I I will change the water, please. Oh yes. Yeah, you can change the water. So I got some spot here. This is okay, right? You just. Yeah, just uh, a little stain here. <laughs> just, a little stain. just a little stain. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to follow this. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Oh, anything. Just a uh, lotus. Lotus, uh, lotus yeah. with a, a vertical, uh, a vertical composition. Your yeah, long stain. That's your your best, right? Yeah. Just yeah. like an umbrella. Um, mm -hmm. Umbrella leaf. Uh, very long stain. That's yeah, umbrella. Uh, like, like you did in you know, uh, a living room. Is, is, is this your like ink? Is this a ink? This is ink. Yeah, you can get some uh, more ink. You put this up somewhere. Can this you have water? Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't take that. Uh, take oh. that piece from the yeah. This is the pure ink. Um, we are on camera. <laughs> so <laughs> be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> to is this maybe a we should. Can... Is this a pure ink? Yeah, yeah, let me give you uh, more ink. No, I don't need more. This ink. is a pure ink. Oh, okay. What's this ink? This is dark ink. It's dark enough for the leaf. That, if you turn over, this is dark, how dark it is. It should be enough. Yeah. Huh? It should be enough, like this. Oh, oh okay. I want some glue. Okay, you want some <laughs> peach sap glue? Okay, good. Any, uh, whatever. So Victoria is going to use some peach sap, peach sap, peach sap powder to control the smearing effect. And also, uh, you can 
same uh, sneering uh, or doesn't just sneer, it makes the uh, more like a more body look mm -hmm. a little bit, yeah. Not that much, but so. I have big brushes beside you. This, the white one. It's a young leaf, leaf uh, shoot. Mm -hmm. Young. Mm -hmm. Young leaf. Yeah. Rolled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolled up. Mm -hmm.
Huh? I think that's how much I want. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Let's try it. Let's try it first. I uh, I think we're going to wash the background. Do you agree? So every step should leave a mark uh, on the painting. You dry it in between. Uh, if you keep working it, it will mix up. Yeah. Compared to my um, <laughs> my my introduction, I think her painting is more energetic. You think? You just show them again. I will try this one too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this painting, uh, you see, is too wet. She just opted, like I said, uh, uh, complimentary to, to my style. So I learned, uh, like a bone, you know, she is a calligrapher, so her stroke is more definitive, very certain, very... Um, you don't have to worry about tonality if you're a calligrapher, <laughs> right? When you know, a painter paints with too much concern with the, the ink, shape, what tonality, it's not important for calligrapher. I mean, for calligrapher. She uses more white. She yeah, she, she leaves more white. She leaves the white. To, uh, so the yeah, exactly. That that's the uh, that's the uh, idea. So the dry brush stroke. We call this jiao uh, mo, burnt tea, <laughs> burnt uh, ink. Burnt ink style, you can paint the entire painting without any water, just the dry ink and the wet ink to get all the, um, the values. Yeah. People also apply these days, someone claimed that he invented the dry color uh, style. So you j just you know, dry watercolor, no, no, no water. So yeah, this is a very nice uh, dry ink style. Dry this completely so I can. Uh, <laughs> Actually, there is value. You know, you can see the color. It's not a monotone, mono mono color. It has value, and uh, you see the very nice. Uh, Bone stroke. So her favorite artist is Fa Da Shan Yun. Fa Da Shan Yun, the uh, Qing Dynasty. Actually, he is a royal, uh, a loyal family from the Ming Dynasty. When Qing Dynasty overthrown, he became a political refugee, uh, become a monk. So he he paints. Uh, Bird with a head in eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in collaborative in eyes. Mountain man of the eight grades. What is his name? Mountain man of the eight grades. Bada. Mod Bada Shanren. Eight big. Shanren. Bada Shanren. Yeah. Or eight men of the mountain man of the eight grades. Grids, oh, Bao Da Sheng, oh, Mount Man of the Eight Grids. That's the, his uh, uh, artist name. <laughs> yeah, that's a, what uh, if you want to learn, you you should. Uh, if you like uh, Victoria, you should take a look at Bao Da Sheng. That's the only book uh, she would learn, Lotus. So this is what I do. I will wash the background with some uh, indigo. The indigo I have is the chip kind of. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, the chip. I'm wondering how to use that. Yeah, just put the uh, water. Uh, I soak it before it become uh, solid again, just like a watercolor hands, and yeah. you, you, it brush right off, right? So you can you can use the uh, uh, 
a little ink of you, you can I also have the yellow chunk. You can make it green. If you, if you really like. So the chips we have came from chunks of pigment like Yeah, that. yeah. This is the chunk. It's a it's a water I mean it's a bamboo shape like uh, they put in, uh, on the on the on the vine. Uh, and it keeps jumbled. reconstituting like your watercolors do. Yeah, yeah. So you just brush off the yellow and uh, mix with the the green. So I I can make this leaf a little bit um, green or blue. This is this is do you agree, Victoria? I'm gonna ruin your pen. Let me take a picture. You compliment each other. Yeah, everything is digital. <laughs> Internalized. Go ahead. Let me do that. Do your work. So everybody take a picture. Everybody take a picture before it's, before it's uh, ruined. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me hold it so, so you can take it. Sure, Victoria, you hold it so they can take a picture of you and the painting. Victoria, let me take a picture of you and your painting. She can hold the before and he can hold the outside. <laughs> 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 Let me take a picture of you. Oh, yes, lower, lower. You come with your face. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 good, good. Wait, wait. Whiskey. This way. Sumi, eh? Sumi, This way, this way. This way. Okay, lots of people watching you. Good. <laughs> okay, good. So we got enough on the record. <laughs> With that. Okay, now. Let's just go with the big one. So we don't well, we can still protect the flower with the, the, the uh, water resist. Yeah, the white thing, you can put the white on, on the back of the paper uh, or on the front. This, I think it's subtle, right? on the, so you still show the paper texture on the front. We can just use the white uh, color, mm -hmm. but uh, more subtle with the, in, with the transparent. This is the sales pitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just uh, water. Uh, Transparent water, but there's a resist white. So I, I just make this part white. And I have to kind of dry it, sorry. Oh, can we can iron it? It's faster. There'll be a big rush on your website for that tonight. <laughs> Let's see. We can iron it. Oh, I think it's just, um, just blow it. Yeah. Blow it. Yeah. Sorry, people, you hear the noise. <laughs> and we can still add the pink to what we need. We just uh, make sure it's white. When I wash the water or the sky, it keeps white. You can use a, uh, like a, a tea or a coffee uh, to make it antique. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it will look much nice, like a Bada San Yen. That's the whole Zhang Na Qian fake his <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wash. Yeah, we talked about uh, how to fake uh, the antique uh, paper. So let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. So we use uh, the, the the ingredients for that is uh, uh, amber ink, basically. So we have the I think the cheap amber. I can just use watercolor, you know, yellow ochre, some uh, brown, some uh, just gray. Uh, just make a 
Great. Not strong enough, I see. Ten bags to one cup. <laughs> 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 so let's uh, let's make an antique look paper. That that's a good idea. Then green leaves, because mm. her style doesn't really mm. call for that, right? So we make it uh, look antique. So let's do yellow ochre, some um, uh, raw amber, some ink. That should do. And indigo, of course. We'll make uh, a red, red, uh, reddish amber, yellow ochre, plus indigo. Make it. We add some ink. Very light. Very light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, now it's antique <laughs> gray, I think. It's mm -hmm. kind of tea color. So we want to make it, it really dark. Look like it's hundreds of years old. <laughs> so let's see if we got enough. Ah, let me test it. Oh, my favorite. Okay. Let's see. Is dark enough? Yeah. yeah. Too green. Too green. <laughs> Green, so some more brown, mm -hmm. yellow. Yes. What about this? Oh, yeah, that looks better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let me see, how do I? Load the large, large brush. This is. <laughs> you can paint it on there, right? Yeah. Oh, paint it on. Yeah. 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 We learn all kinds of things here yeah. from each other. That's, uh, that's the opportunity we share all the tips. Okay. So we go from bottom up, maybe twice. <laughs> oh, I got down I got enough. That's it. Oh, we'll we'll ma match it. <laughs> yeah, you will. No way. <laughs> Darker at the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bird. There's a bird. <laughs> Where did it come? Uh, that was the That's a mojo. <laughs> Oh, how can I fix the rest of it? Oh, just spray oh. it. Just spray. And that was uh, what you've done. I have to re remix the, the, the color again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's do that. So what color we use? Uh, yellow ochre. Oh, I have some left over mm -hmm. here. That's the color, the hue that we try to match. So yellow ochre, yellow ochre, some brown, uh, yet uh, raw amber, indigo. indigo. I have the test two papers so there. So it's too green. Too green again. So we just add this two. This time I got more than I need. <laughs> oh, I got too many, too much indigo in there. That's why it keeps coming off. Let's see. I think it's a, um, it's okay to have some, you know, green color on the top. Yeah. It's okay. We just paint it down. Yeah. Let's just paint the leaf. So. Close. That's pretty close. Yeah. Close. Close? Okay. Very close. Very close. That's good. Oh, I got some uneven colors. Good. Good. Oh, it's 
the breast, breast, you know, not the, the paper, but the cheek. <coughs> Let me just balance it, I think. Let's change it over. This is the back. So. Okay, let's see how it goes. Do I need to eliminate the right? Maybe not. That's the chief entrance. Okay, so uh, try it again. Yeah, we don't need that. We need this too. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, just show you the, <coughs> the because this part I, I think it's uh, dry, so we can work on that. Mm -hmm. Now this is the uh, resist at work. Yeah. We we did this uh, with absence of uh, the the artist, so she didn't know uh, where it is. Mm -hmm. Now it's uh, located. Uh, I think it's perfect. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we can add a little detail. You, you can can you tell the head of the 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 head of the bird. Okay, I add it. Okay. Okay. Ah. And uh, the leg could be omitted, I think, it's mm -hmm. in the water behind. That's perfect. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Are you going to finish yours? I like yours too. Okay, okay, I'll later. So it's still wet. Uh, the color should be more antique mm -hmm. yellow. We have an antique yellow paper. Is, is about this, like, but you cannot add white to that. You have to use use paint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a yeah. I, I did that. Uh, after you you painted the the flower part, 
just you know to make a Save the, yeah just the, the, you know, oh, okay. just a little bit uh, right, right, disperse right. yeah, concentrate yeah. yeah. I do too yeah this is also three white three white yeah, yeah. Three white, yeah. Uh, you always have three yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know big oh. middle oh. small mm -hmm. yeah. that uh, like I said yeah. always the three <laughs> uh, three leaves mm -hmm. three uh, big middle uh, small right mm -hmm. three leaves. Yeah. It's amazing that the bird ended up sitting in the branch with you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all, you know, um, divine <laughs> serendipity. Serendipity, yeah. yeah. Serendipity, serendipity. Mm -hmm. accident. Serendipity. Yeah. So we're going to sign uh, after it dries mm -hmm. and to uh, um, seal it. Shall we paint Lotus now? Yeah. Oh, should I finish this? <laughs> do I have any chance to, to do that? <laughs> this is just a uh, practice. Uh, well, I have to finish yeah, before it dries. And we all know how to redeem our practices. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is just the leaves, not the background. It's just blocks of the colors. I just paint like the leaves. So th this color could be also like autumn leaves. Mm -hmm. System, so you have to be safe. You don't have to paint all mm -hmm. white. In this case, I just leave maybe. Mm -hmm. Just leave that. Otherwise, it will be too flat. So let's see if I can. Right. We'll see what it looks like after it dries. Because now you can wet everything. You just see the tone uh, evenly. But the, this white is um, dry, so that looks. This is, yeah, this is uh, the flower. It's too light. I had to enhance that. You can add a little more leaf or flower, maybe um, some more leaf, maybe on the other side of the projector. Just a uh, like side view. Um, I really don't think this will work. <laughs> <laughs> this is a. Uh, this this flaw has to be re re mm -hmm. stated, reinstated. Uh, yeah, just w wait. Um, let me see if I can sign this one. Too, still too wet. Yeah. yeah, you can go back to okay. your seat now. Okay. We'll, we'll show you because the yeah signature part is. Needs, uh, needs time to dry. Huh? Yeah, you can need time. Thanks uh, for watching on on Facebook. <laughs> see you next time.